tackle to practice with? Well, that's simple, isn't it? It's whatever you've got. Not everybody's blessed with multiple fly fishing outfits. So, what am I using? Okay, this is a seven foot six inch Microlite rod. Premium carbon fiber tip action fly rod. On it, I've got a 30 foot head length. It's a two weight. So I'm following the four times the rod length rule. Seven and a half times four is 30 feet. A four times the rod length rule in terms of head length puts us in the medium head length, doesn't it? So we've got that balance between the golden eagle stability and the short, sharp, easy to cast, punchy delivery of the short head. Onto that, very simple. Following the same principles. If I've got a medium head length, I'm gonna go straight down the middle with leader length as well. So this one's approximately eight feet long. The butt section is 70% the diameter of the fly line, okay? And it tapers all the way down over eight feet to something like a four pound point. As I mentioned, I've not put any wool or any hooks on the end of this when I'm casting on grass. Okay, it gives an unpleasant jittery effect when you're trying to pull the leader through the blades of grass. So simple. The benefit of using a light rod like this, a light short rod, is that it's easy. You can cast it all day long. This pond's about 30 feet long. So following the rule of four times the rod length puts my medium head length at 30 foot. Perfect for this length of rod. Perfect for this practice pond. It's light, it's short. I can use it for long periods of time without straining my wrist. The tackle you practice with in an ideal situation relates to where you're gonna practice. The formulas I've used to choose the tackle I practice with are exactly the same as when I choose to go fishing. In your situation in an open field, you might choose a nine foot five weight. Again, times the rod length by approximately four. Okay, so you're gonna be in the 36 foot head length. Choose a five weight line, approximately 36 foot long. That's if you're using a nine foot five weight. If you're using a 10 foot seven weight, again, follow the four times the rod length rule, get a 40 foot head and a seven weight line. It all depends where you're fishing. This is a very tight confined situation, so I've shortened the whole geometry of the cast. Now the rod I'm actually going to be teaching with is slightly different. That's a slightly heavier rod. It's a five weight. It's because I need a thicker fly line so you can see it on camera. But this, learning for myself to practice with, this seven foot six inch two weight following the four times the rod length rule is perfect for the situation I'm in. This is actually a practice rod. You can use it indoors. It's not a real fishing rod like I described earlier. It's a four foot rod and onto it it's got a piece of wool with a red piece of wool on the end. This yellow bit constitutes our fly line and this red bit constitutes our tapered leader and tippet. Why do I use this? I mean, predominantly so that you can see it on camera better. This thick yellow fly line is easier to see than my thin white one. We're gonna be using this rod a lot to show you the very basic setups for all the casts. That's tackle to practice with. Now we can move on to the actual art of fly casting. <laughs> 